what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be discussing something that probably a lot of you have already come across maybe some of you this is going to be news to you uh i i realize not a lot of people have talked about this because victor salva himself has only made like brief mentions of this i i've known about this i just i just figured hey i might as well make a video about it uh, so i'm going to be talking about the original ending of jeepers creepers i came across some new storyboards uh, that Victor Salva shared many years ago that uh, were, were like basically storyboards are like just drawings of how the of storyboards are like just drawings of the script and how the scene would be shot and stuff like that. It's just artwork of the script, basically. The words on the page uh, drawn out. Uh, in the original ending of Jeepers Creepers, uh, the creeper was actually going to be. It was gonna they were supposed to be like it was supposed to involve a head-on collision with a train so like what what was happening was originally trisha and Derry would have escaped the police station uh tubs and all of his uh all of his officers and people in the department they would have been in that room with the with the creeper they would have been uh shooting at it the creeper presumably would have killed all of them the only thing that is detailed in the in this revised uh first draft of the script is that the creeper throws one of the cops out the window trish and Derry make their way outside of the police station while the creeper is in the in the station there's tearing up the cops uh only the only car they notice is giselle's uh winnebago that was described uh by tubs when when giselle had initially walked in trish and Derry they make their way outdoors they see the winnebago by giselle they don't see their car for some reason i don't really understand that part of the script i, I have to go back and reread it but they also noticed the creeper truck uh i believe what it was is that they know that their their car itself isn't reliable so that's probably what happened but they noticed the winnebago and the creeper truck Derry decided that it would be a better idea if they take the creeper truck why he decided that would be a good idea i do not know uh but essentially they take the creeper's truck i feel like what uh I feel like Derry had a plan this whole time because when I when I get into what happens, you'll you'll see what I'm going. They get into the creeper's truck, and the creeper, after decimating the the cops in the station, uh, Derry is driving. Trish is kind of hesitant. They Trish is in the back of the truck. She sees we get like an interior shot of the truck. There's like axes and and swords hanging on the on the uh, walls. They're rattling back and forth as Derry is driving. Just a whole bunch of weapons at the creeper. A whole, a whole wall full of of uh, weapons, axes, knives, all this stuff that the creeper has in the back of that truck. Uh, throwing the spears, knives, everything. All the things we know uh, are in his uh, artillery, and that's all going on in the back of the truck with Trish. Derry's driving in and out the window as he's driving. He notices the creeper is staring at him what the what the creeper uh starts to do is he starts to hop from uh i believe they had some issues actually getting the engine started at one point the creeper notices them in the truck so he starts hopping from from police car to police car he's like running over the top of the police cars getting trying to make his way to Derry before Derry can start the engine eventually Derry does start the engine and as the creeper is hopping he's of course picking up some acceleration with it he hops onto the the creeper truck his truck Derry Derry kind of uh Derry ends up smacking him away with a weapon that Trish gives him from the back uh and then here here's where things get interesting for me in in this revised draft we were going to find out the creeper had it appears he had super speed like not sonic type speed but as fast as the car was going the car the truck is going like 100 something miles per hour probably a little bit higher uh and the creeper is just right on the truck now that would have been something interesting to see on screen seeing that this thing can run super fast i think that would have been incredible to see on screen why it's choosing to run i do not know I'm, I'm assuming that was just written in just because it Victor Salva wanted to have like a cool shot I can tell you that I think it would have been a cool shot to see if they would have shot it properly I, I feel like he could have pulled it off but essentially the creeper was running was running just as fast as the truck was going and at one point he's running so fast he even catches on fire with it I think that would have been badass to see on screen uh not really too sure how he would have put himself out of fire I don't think he catches on fire entirely but he just kind of he's running so fast he he starts to get lit up from it uh that would have been a cool thing to see eventually he catches up to the truck 
uh they end up making their way to the train tracks on in the truck the creeper is desperately trying to pull Derry out of the truck he actually makes his way into it at one point and trish takes something and chops his head off the creeper is headless um on the screen here you're going to notice some storyboard images that victor salva had uh shared detailing all this you're going to see these come across the screen the creeper becomes headless uh Derry is being pulled out of the truck he trisha is pleading with him to just get to just pull the truck over and get out and that he's she's telling him that the creeper is dead uh, because he has he's lost his head Derry doesn't believe the creeper is dead whatsoever he tells Trisha she's never going to stop she needs to get out of here Trisha trying to understand what her brother is talking about at some point she ends up in the she ends up in the uh in the driver's seat with Derry based off of what I recall Derry ends up kicking her out of the he ends up kicking her out of the truck he tells her he tells Trisha goodbye it's like a, it's going to be a very emotional moment he tells her goodbye and then he kicks her out of the truck into the grass on the side of the road uh he makes his way onto the train tracks the creeper is still trying to pull him out all the while Derry is yelling at him uh swearing and all this other th all this other stuff the creeper's body is still trying to pull Derry out still trying to pull him out of the truck and Derry is going head on to an oncoming train there's a train coming so instead of the creeper actually getting Derry, because Derry already knows his fate he he decides he's going to commit suicide but in a heroic way and hopefully take the creeper with him he ends up colliding with the train the train explodes uh dairy of course still still has died but he didn't let the creeper get him he he went out in a suicidal but kind of uh epic way i feel like if they shot if they would have shot that ending it would have came out very good on screen and if you all want to read the script i can i can link it down in the comment section or send you an email copy of it let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below and what you think about the creeper possibly having super speed uh if you had or if you haven't already again go ahead and give this video a thumbs up in the description i have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can mention me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video